Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at that Rockstar Energy Inc. A90 Supra here in a set of Corsa. But before we get into fully about this, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers and everybody that came and met up with me at Erie. It was an amazing experience and very surreal to me, you know, to have you guys come up, say hello, you know, have me autograph, you know, steering wheels, stickers, shirts. It was a great experience and very surreal to me that this is becoming a thing and you know going to FD I did make the announcement I'm going to be there planning on going to a couple more FD events this year so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram to find out which ones I'm going to go to so it was definitely a fun time had a great time talking to you guys about the content and meeting you guys in person so it was an amazing experience going there meeting all the drivers and talking to them I've met a couple of the drivers at other events but you know, getting to wrap out with you know NRG homie, you know Jeff Jones, always a great guy, always a character. Love the guy to death. He's an amazing you know driver and just a generally an awesome guy. And he you know put in work this this weekend. But we're staring at this A90 Supra, and this A90 Supra is actually the VDC car, and it is of Andreas Lien or Lean. Lini, if I pronounce the last name wrong, I do apologize. I it's hard for me to get abbreviation or how pe you know people pronounce their names correct sometimes. So I got a chance to talk to Frederick Gosbo in the autograph line because my my wife and my buddy Christmas um, were going ahead of me and they had an evil rabbit hat that they were getting autographed as well as I did. And Osbo asked what the evil rabbit was and they mentioned him about my YouTube. So when I went to go talk to him and get the autograph, he asked me about my YouTube channel. And, you know, we got to talk a little bit about what I did about competing and a set of course of drifting and all like that. So it was a really awesome experience there. But the biggest thing that stood out was when we went to see him after the trophy ceremony, after his second place podium. And I got to talk to him a little bit more. And we got into a conversation about the similarities in virtual versus real drift competitions. You know, I had asked him, you know, how he keeps his mindset and all that because, you know, for him, it's draining on a weekend and physically draining, mentally draining in a competition because you're so focused and, you know, it's physically demanding when you're competing in these cars. And, you know, I was saying how I, I you know, it was it's weird that I get nervous when I go into a competition in a virtual world but it's that mindset the mindset and that mental game is the same when it comes to a virtual competition and a real life competition it's a mental game that you have to basically get in your own mind and calm yourself down and you know so you don't have those nerves you can know what you got to do if the car is running right and everything it's you know it's just on a matter of being in your mental state so it was an amazing experience to get to talk to him about that and you know it, it's just it's still surreal for everything that went on in Erie and you know meeting subscribers talking to Osbo about virtual drifting and real drifting and how he sees that so a lot of people use drifting as a tool uh, virtual drifting as a tool to become a better drifter and stuff like that so it's it's incredible. It was an amazing experience. We're going to rip his car here today. Unfortunately, we don't have Lake Erie. It is in the works, so hopefully it'll be here soon. But we're going to race at OSW. Very similar, you know, small bank track. You know, Erie was deemed like the little Irwindale. So hopefully we can get er Erie in here. It is in the works, so we can go rip it. So let's go full send on Osbo's car. Make sure you follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. Try not to stall the car. We're going to go through pits. Got full wheel cam and everything on for today. Pedal cam as well. We're going to be rocking this in cockpit and taking a look at, of course, the replays. So one of the things he did say was about people competing in hood view versus in car views and, you know, using it as a tool and competing with, like, I have my Oculus Rift. And, you know, inside the cockpit or with triple screens is definitely a very good tool to become a better driver because, you know, it's very similar to what you'd see in a real car. So let's go heat up the tires, see if we can't here at OSW and uh, see what we can do. Well, I mean, we can have to count and that's good. That'd be a restart. Kind of threw me off on my speed on entry. So we gotta kind of pull it back in. Manage the bump. 
transition over. This track is extremely bumpy on this version. Trying, I think we're way off the crease. We may have went way too high on the crease on that outer part. So overall, that uh, cone hit kind of uh, messed me up a little bit. You know, I wish the cones would kind of pop and not just like make you come to a quick stop. But then unfortunately you can't do that here in the virtual world. So that would have been a restart, obviously, if this was a competition set. So we're going to go do another run here. Then we'll go take a look at the replays of the two runs and see where we were on the track when it comes to the bank and that outer bank. I think I was shallow on the bank, of course, because I was a little off speed and that inner bank was a little off as well. No cone hit that time. Feel lights on, quick initiation. I feel like I was much higher on the bank there. Bring it off the bank. Too soon off the bank, we would have punted that. Managed the OSW bumps. Did not get into the zone as soon as I wanted to. But overall, not too bad of a run in a car that I've actually never driven before. Which is always a fun thing when you don't drive the car like I have a student spotlight. So let's take a look at those replays. Osmo's car looking really cool in this game. There is another version of Osmo's car, but it is actually uh, right-hand drive, so it's very incorrect. This is probably the closest car I could get to Osmo's car. So off rip this first one. There's our cone hit. That would have been a, obviously a restart. We we're definitely very low on the bank, but we we're a little bit off speed. Uh, we we're higher than I thought. Coming off the bank, managing the that bump. We did stay at angle, but that was a very aggressive bump. This is what I kind of wanted to see. I think it was, uh, no, I was actually kind of up in the crease. And then towards the end, I think, yep, I went up on the bank a little bit, causing myself to go a little bit higher on the crease than I wanted to. But overall, not too bad of a run, like I said, in a car that I basically just ran one lap out in. I haven't practiced with this car or ran this car much at all. As you can see, the delay from when I was uh, doing the little intro clip. So we haven't actually ran this car. So... You know, it's definitely a very aggressive car and a fun car. So I think our second run was better. So let's take a look at the second run. We did not hit the cone on the second run, so we had a little bit better of a speed. Yeah, there we go. No cone hit there. Bang it into gear. Heart quick flick in. Much higher on the bank. Could have been higher, but actually not too, too shabby. A little bit of a bobble in the cut there. Jumping over the bumps at OSW. Pulling in. We did get in the zone actually on time. I thought I was a little bit out. And we managed to not go too high up. So overall two full clean runs. A little 360 for style. Two full clean runs. So let's go back into the car. And uh, maybe run one more run and end this episode off. So like I said in the beginning of the episode. The overall experience that I had at Erie was just incredible. I've been to drift events before. I've been to uh, Jersey, but it, this one hit a little different with, like I said, the subscribers coming, getting a chance to talk to all a lot of the drivers and meeting some people that work for some drivers teams that I've known for a very long time. So it was definitely fun. I appreciate all you guys for coming out and stopping and saying hi. So one final run here in Osmo's car to end this episode off. So let's go full send. Not hit a cone. No cone hits. There we go. Oh, there's a little wall tap. Sorry. Kind of uh, popped the bumper a little bit on that one. Sorry. Osbo may have ripped that off. I'm sure Papadakis can get that fixed real quick. Oh, and we threw that up on the bank, unfortunately. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Aceta Corsa. Big thank you to you all coming back and watching another video. Once again, thank you to everybody who came out and saw me at Erie. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.